Hello everyone, welcome to Coding with Ivan. Welcome to the third part of the Android Food Recipe app tutorial. So in the previous video, we made our app till this point. If I open that, it will load some random recipes. Here are all the recipes and we also added uh, these uh, tags inside a spinner. We can select any one of them and it will load us uh, foods of that particular category. So in this video, let's at first add a new search view here so that we can search for a specific meal or a specific type of meal with specific ingredients. So let's start. So to make this at first, we'll go to our activity main.xml file and we'll add a search view here at the top. So let me zoom in first. I'll minimize this toolbar. Okay. So now outside of this toolbar, we'll add our search view and I'll create the search view inside a card view to make the UI look a little bit good. Okay. So here I'm adding a card view and for the width, I'll pass match parent and for the height, I'll pass uh, same as the action bar size. So I'll write question mark ATTR slash action bar size. All right. And let's give this card view some more attributes like let's set the card elevation to 8 dp here, then the card background color to color orange. Okay. And let's give this a overall margin of let's say 8 dp. And then inside this card view, we will add our search view. So we'll add this search view. We are going to use this Android X search view, not this one. We'll use the Android X search view. So here for the width I'll pass match parent for the height I'll pass match parent here. All right. Let's close this search view tag and here I'll give the search view an ID. I'll call this as search view underscore home. Okay. Let's add a hint. So I'll write query hint and for the query hint I'll write uh, search your um, food no not food search your recipe okay and uh, the hint is not showing here because uh, to enable the search view we need to add another attribute which is called iconified by default we have to set this to false as you can see now we have this text right here but the thing here is the icon and the text inside the search view are black and I want to make this white. So at first, let's take care of the search icon. So I'll create a separate icon for that. So for this, I'll right click on the drawable folder and create a new uh, vector asset. So I'll select some clip art and I'll search for the search icon. Let's pick this one click OK and I'll change the color to white this time and I'll change the name of this to IC underscore search OK and let's click on next and finish so here inside the drawable folder we have this IC underscore search now let's add this as the uh, search icon of the search view so here I'll write a new attribute called search icon and here I'll pass at the red drawable slash ic underscore search that we just created as you can see the icon is now white okay now for the text uh, we have to make some changes inside our themes.xml file so let me open this themes.xml and inside here we'll go right after uh, these items and here we'll create two new items so the first item is for the edit text color where for the color I'll pass at the red color slash white all right and the second one is for the hint text color so I'll name this item as text color hint and for the color I'll pass again the color white all right so these are the changes and now if we go to our activity main.xml as you can see our uh, text of the search view is also changed to color white so now let's run our application again so i'm going to click run
as you can see here is our application with all the recipes and here is our search view with white icon and white text we can type anything that we like okay so now let's um, add a on click listener for the uh, search view so i'll quickly do that inside our main activity and here at first we need to initialize our search view so i'll create a new search view object and remember to use the android x dot app compa dot widget so i'll call this as search view and then inside here after this dialog i'll initialize our search view so search view equals find view by id okay let me zoom in first okay find view by id r dot id dot uh, what was its id search view underscore home i'll copy that and paste it right here okay and after that we will create a on query text listener for the search view so we'll write uh, search view dot set on query text on query text listener and i'll create a new search view dot on query text listener inside here and we got two options here on query text submit and on query text change we won't uh, make anything or make any changes inside the on query text change we will work on this on query text submit because whenever the user will type something in the search view and click on the search icon or the submit button then we will load results for that particular query all right so for this here we will change uh, this false to true here we will return true at first and before returning true we need to call our uh, api so we'll mainly call the get random recipes api and we'll pass the query as the tag of that api so here at first i'll clear the tags list so i'll write tags dot clear and after that i'll add this query into this tags so i'll write tags dot add and inside the parameter i'll pass the query that the user typed inside the search view okay and after that i'll call the manager dot get random recipes and here for the listener this was the random recipe response listener i'll copy this and paste it here and then for the tags i'll pass the tags okay and after calling this let's show the dialog so i'll read dialog dot show okay so i guess that should work fine so let's run our application to see the changes so i'll click on run here all right so here we got our recipes so now let's search for um, any item in the search view so i'm going to search for pasta let's search says loading and here we got uh, recipes of some pastas okay uh, my net speed is quite slow now that's why images are not loading properly but in your case it should work fine okay there are all the images for the pasta items so let's try to search something else let's search for let's say any item with chicken okay and let's click on search and here we got all the items that are made with chicken okay so that's how we can implement the uh, search view for the recipe app and that's it for the video in the next part we will add uh, more features like we will uh, we can click on any of the items here and that will load the all the details in the new activity so we'll do that in the next part of the video and thank you so much for watching guys